Cyan knows no country. Kashna Lake belongs to humanity. And is a torch that illuminates the world. Louis Pasteur. To all panel of judges, teachers, ladies, and gentlemen, my name is Milan Roman. My name is Bori Ponte Sara. And my name is Namchia Kumpakdi. And we are from English program of Hakka Bijilai School, Thailand. We are here presenting our research project entitled The Experimental Study of Brown Way Seashell. As the fact, I'm a great seaman. For making an alternative roadway, photoluminescence, tile rock. Let's begin with the background of our mental study. The accident data center of Thailand show a large number of accidents that have a magnificent impact toward our economy. And according to the study, lacking of proper street lighting is a major cause of accidents and injuries. From this point, our team decided to carry out this experimental study by using Brownway seashell because seashells are one of the sufficient materials in the southern region of Thailand. Over 15 million tons of waste are generated in Norway with around 0.9% being bones and seashells. Moreover, seashells consist of over 90% calcium carbonate, which is similar to limestone using it for less. Our objectives include finding the possible solution for the roadway accidents and pavement injury. Minimize the waste of seashells to create an eco-friendly tile block. We also aim to determine which of the four regions of mixture is the most effective as by aggregating cement. The statement of the problem. First, can your waste seashells be an effective by aggregating cement in making roadway for the ruminations tile block? Second, if so, which amount the ratio of measures demonstrate the most effective as far as equate in cement? Score the study. This study focused on the visibility and effectiveness of the tar block, which are limited to four different ratios of mixture as follows. In tar block 1, consists of one cement, two sand, and one water. In tar block 2, consists of one cement, two seashells, and one water. Next, in type 3, consists of two seamen, one seashell, and one water. And lastly, in type 4, consists of one seamen, one sand, one seashell, and one water. Each of them has been replicated in three samples to test their reliability at the Faculty of Engineering, Prince of Sonfa University. And the duration of the studies is 30 days. For the process, first we collect the seashell from the furnace floor. After that, we clean and dye them for two days. Then we run and crush them to produce tissue powder. Next, we mix the big ratio of each component. Then bring them to the bottom and process by hand to remove and lock. And arouse the hydration and curing process to continue. After that, we test the compressive strength of each tile block and coat them with a fluorescent mixture to enhance its property. For results and discussion, in Thailand, before we can assess a compressive stress and compressive resistance, the upper standards of compressive stress is 280 kilogram force, and the upper standards of compressive resistance was not 350 kilogram force per centimeter square. Now on the individual tie block, we can observe that tie block 4 demonstrates the highest average compressive strength of 10,738.60 kg box, followed by tie block 2, 1, and 3. However, when it came to the average compressive resistance, we found out that none of the tie block were met the standard. Nevertheless, the type of 4 demonstrated the highest average compressive resistance of 123.75 kg pass per centimeter square, followed by type of 2, 1, and 3. To demonstrate the photoluminescent property of the type block, we invented this fluorescent exploration box. As you can see during the daytime, the blocks placed inside absorb the sunlight and finally gather energy. But during the night time, it turned out to light and close as they are eliminated by storing energy. In conclusion, our study transformed seashell waste into valuable concrete component 
we present a novel solution to waste reduction and enhance floor safety. Let us work together to create a world where waste become a resource, where safety and sustainability go hand in hand. Together, we can build a brighter and safer future for all. And for further information, please scan this QR code to get more clarification of our study. As we wrap up this video presentation, we would like to share our project that bridges sustainability and practicality. Thank, Thank you for joining us on this journey. journey.